Hey guys, this is Rob from Daz, and today I'm going to be going over the new update we have for the Daz to Maya plugin. And in this update, we've added a lot of fixes, as well as additional features. Let's just get into it. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is log into Daz Central. Go ahead and go to the Bridges section, and go to Daz to Maya. If you've already previously installed the Daz to Maya plugin, you'll see an update button. Just click it. Once that's done, let's just go ahead and open DAS. Once that you've opened DAS, just go ahead and create your character. But I'm just going to go ahead and open up a character I already created. Okay, once you've done that, just make sure you have the root of your character selected. Go to Scripts, Bridges, DAS to Maya. DAS will, of course, automatically convert your character to Maya. Once that's finished, we're just going to open Maya. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and go up to DAS 3D and open the DAS to Maya plugin. If you don't see this option up here, you can go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, and go to Plugin Manager, and you'll find it right here in the menu. You can load and auto-load it. Once you've done that, let's just go ahead and auto-import our model. Awesome. So once your character has been loaded, it's really important that you make sure you save. You can also proceed to save scene with textures so it'll save it to your file location. And then you can even convert materials to Arnold or V-Ray. But because I want to animate this character and bring it back into Daz for rendering an I-Ray, I'm just going to go ahead and leave those things the way they are. So what also comes with the new Daz to Maya update is an extension for animation, which is a very useful tool. If you would like to open it, you can go to the script editor down here. Okay, and just type in DAS tools. It is case sensitive, so make sure you type it like this. Highlight it and go to command, and then execute. And it'll bring up this little uh, window right here. Oh, and if you'd like, you can highlight it, middle click, drag, and, dr and drag it onto your shelf so that you can open it anytime that you'd like. So what I want to do is I want to put a rig on this character so it's more appropriate for animation. So all that you have to do is once you've imported your character, just click on the rig or retarget skeleton button here. We're just going to run on the open file since I already saved it. Once that it's done, you will see that your character has a brand new rig attached. You can explore the rig and all of its different controls. You can switch from FK to IK and etc. Your options are limitless now. So I'm just going to do a basic animation on this guy. I'm just going to have him switch poses here. There we go. Something really basic. Once that you've done your animation, let's just go to export animations to DAS. It'll bring up a dialog box. What you want to do is you want to name your animation. So I'm going to call this Pirate anim01. And then I'm going to browse out to the folder that I would like to export it to. Once you've done that, hit export. Hit confirm. And now your animation has been exported. Let's go back to Daz. So now what you want to do is you want to go to your content library. So wherever you put your animations, make sure you add a base directory. That way you can locate it and use it. I put mine in an animations folder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the root on my Valentino character and I'm going to double click on my animation. Now you can see we have an animation on our character. And that's the new update for Daz Tamaya. Thanks for listening.